Good morning. It's thunderous Thursday, September 24th, 2020. And it's day 29 of the school year. So we've been here at school for 29 days. So, and today is punctuation day. Punctuation is what we write at the end of sentences to tell us what kind of sentence it is. Like a period goes to make a statement if you're just telling something. If you're saying it with a lot of emotion, really loudly, you want to have a lot of emotion like the house is on fire. You need to do an exclamation mark. But if you're asking a question like, is the house on fire? You have to have a question mark. There's a lots of other punctuation, but that's the ones we're focusing a lot right here in our sentences here at this time of year. So celebrate punctuation day by making sure you put your punctuation at the end of your sentences today in the journals. All right, so let's go and look at our morning meeting and everything's normal about doing the check-in, doing your Pledge of Allegiance. And we're here, we're gonna stop at the calendar. Hello, September. September, we're about to say bye, September. So let's like we've done so far every day, I count and you count with me until we get to where we have our last number for our date to where we're at for the day. So here we go. Go do this with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, so 24. All right, so let's go up and see what 24 is under. So today's gonna to be Thursday. So if we go back a day, yesterday was Wednesday. If we go ahead a day, tomorrow will be Friday. Okay, the reason I went over that, today is. We just said today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday, and tomorrow will be Friday. Whoop, whoop. Okay, let's work on today's date. We start with our month, and we're still in September. Almost out, but we're still in September. We said today's date is the 24th, so September 24th. We need to put a comma. So we're going to put a comma after the date and then we add the year september 24 2020 is today's official date and this is the blank day of school what did we say how many days we've been here um 28 i believe so 28 but we don't say this is the 28th day of school we say it's the 28th. So we do another TH down here. 28th day of school. All right, let's take a look at this. Today's day 28. So hundreds? No, not yet. So we count by tens. 10, 20, 30. Oh, no, no, no. Could go to 30. Almost there, though. So now we're at 20, and we're going to bring ones up and count on. So 10, 20, you can count with me. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. There's 28 in base 10 box. Now let's go over to the coins. We've been using a quarter. And when we use a quarter, we've been doing our pennies. Because if we add a dime, that gets way higher than 28. We use a nickel, that's like saying 25 plus five, counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. 
if we added another five we'd say 30 and 30 is too much so we can't do that so we have to do this so we're at 25 26 27 28 there's 28 used and shown in coins with a value of 28 cents all right here comes our clock this is the our hand and it points to that number we want to try to keep the end of it touching this circle and then and this means the o'clock o'clock means it's straight up brand new air four o'clock all right so here we have happy national punctuation now here's more punctuation than what we talked about earlier so we may already know some of those and you might learn some a little bit later we won't do it too fast right now we're just focusing on what comes at the end of sentences okay and i see them on this page right here are some of them all right let's go and see what our journal is about when do you get excited tell about something that makes you excited okay and remember to put today's date at the top and you start out your sentence with I get excited when and I've got a little period here you need to fill it all in and then add your period at the end because remember it is punctuation day and if you're writing you need to have that punctuation on punctuation day all right have a great day and I will see you around